Hi, and welcome to day 38 of 365 Days of Art. You can see yesterday's work behind me where I finger painted a background and used the one stroke technique to create the flower. Since I've been playing around with different background effects, today I'm going to compare three different ways of doing a graduated color background. I've picked out a purple that we'll just take from dark purple up to white and just compare them. I think today I'm going to use the Golden's liquid acrylics, tomorrow maybe the regular ones, and then if I'm really liking how the two are able to compare them, maybe I'll do one more set of three different backgrounds in the Arteza acrylics, and then we can look at all three of them together and see really how they stacked up against each other and what we've got going on. That being said, plan in place. Let's paint! So I have liquid golden acrylics, titanium white, and dioxazine purple. For this first one, I'm just using water and a 2 inch flat brush to get a wash. So all I'm doing is diluting the colors with a lot of water. I'm putting a layer of white first to hopefully help blend that purple down into the bottom. There we go. I'm doing this kind of gradual because I'm using the water so I want to keep it as light as possible while still getting as smooth of a blending effect as I can get. And up there at the top where I want it to be darker, I'm just adding less water. Now this is a liquid acrylic, so even when I don't add any water to it, it's moving around pretty well on the page. You can see I bring my brush strokes all the way to the edges. I'm trying not to hit the middle one, but... And for this middle one, I'm using Flow Aid, the wet brush to apply the paint, and then two different dry brushes to smooth it out at the end. I'm going for that very smooth transition that you often get in oils that is so coveted, so here's hoping we can make that happen. There we go. Yep, <laughs> that purple actually surprised me. It is much more liquid than what I thought. It's not as heavy as the titanium white. Yesterday I just used the titanium white and the black and they were a lot thicker. That purple is, it's very liquid. And once again here you can see I'm using a very crisscross stroke. This is the dry brush and there's the other dry brush. I'm just whisking them across the page very lightly and that's just to blend those colors and soften it up. We kind of pick up any paint so that we don't have brush marks. And then on this last one, we're already to it, I'm just using my fingers. And I'm doing a lot darker at first and trying to put more on the page and layer it up because again for this, I really want to see the swirl so I'm trying to over mix at the beginning here to get the different gradients that I want and then going back in and hopefully getting some of those fun designs and effects that I've been liking by doing that swirling pattern with my fingers. There we go. That is all three of them. Again, the liquid acrylics, especially that purple, turned out to be much more liquid than I had anticipated for. So that very first one is just water and acrylic. The middle one is the acrylic with a little bit of flow aid. You just dip your brush into the flow aid and then dip it in the paint and you put it on there. It keeps it workable for longer so that when I go through with those dry brushes, it's actually allowing me to move the paint around still a little bit and pick it up and smooth out those lines. I think it would look a lot nicer if it was thicker and heavier. So tomorrow, when I go in with the regular acrylics, I'm thinking that's gonna come out a lot softer and the blend is gonna be really beautiful. Same thing with the one on the end. The one on the end definitely needs the stiffness of those heavier acrylics to retain the marks a little better and I think get the effect that I want. Obviously they worked really well with the water on the end though and gave that a very watercolor-like effect. So that is three different ways for a background for today. That wraps us up for today. I think I am going to stick with this for tomorrow using Golden's regular acrylics, their artist acrylics, which are a lot heavier than the liquid acrylics. That purple really surprised me when it came out that runny. So looking forward to that tomorrow. If there's anything you would like me to do, 
techniques you want me to explore, let me know down in the comments. I'll definitely give it a look. Otherwise, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!